So I do want to talk about this for one quick second. It's been a little bit a while, so I haven't really talked about it. But Cartoon Network shutting down. Well, excuse me, Cartoon Network website shutting down. It leads you to HBO Max. <sighs> I can't believe I said I told you so, but I told you so. This has been going on for a while now. Like I said, a lot of people don't know this, but I had an inside source uh, several years ago telling me that, yo, there's a lot of things happening. Um, they're cutting back on certain things. And I, I heard about this many years ago. And the difference between that, though, uh, compared to now was it was going through the AT&T. So at t at the time, they were kind of like trying to figure things out with things. They were like, all right, well, we still see a viable market for this. And I think the debt at the time wasn't as huge as it is now. Now the debt is huge. David Zaslav came out and started cutting things left to right. So that was a lot more, more known throughout the last several years than it was before. But you can look at their scheduling. Cartoon Network has nothing original coming out ever. Um, most of this stuff is going in-house and max. And then they, now they're starting to license things out to other companies, which that's what Cartoon Network used to do back in the day anyway. Like that Batman Cape Crusaders, which I'll talk about that in another video, that's going to Amazon. Um, the only one they had was My Adventure to Superman. If they could license that one, they probably would have. That probably would have went to uh, Netflix or HBO Max. Not HBO Max, excuse me, or uh, Netflix or Peacock. So they're trying to license a lot of these out now to get more money. But again, there's not a lot of places you can license to. You can't put the tele show on television because television is a dying brand. And it's like they're not going to get that much money off of it. You get more money off of the streaming platform. And what sold the Batman Cape Crusaders was Bruce Timm, J.J. Abrams, and Matt Reeves. More so Bruce Timm because he worked on the anime series. So Amazon looked at, okay, cool. You worked on the Batman the anime series with Kevin Conroy? Cool. If they wanted to, Amazon probably said, hey, I want Kevin Conroy. But again, Kevin Conroy passed away, rest his soul, and they couldn't get him. And, you know, you look at Cartoon Network right now, it's the website shut it down. Cartoon Network's been a dead brand anyway. What's been keeping it alive is Adult Swim and and their rerun shows and Rick and Morty reruns and, and you could say Little Tanami. But it's not the same network it once was. The people now don't care about the network. They are there just to air reruns, do what they want to do, and this is that. Hell. Um, it's sad because Warner Brothers are in the state they're in right now. They're in so much debt. It's not even funny. And, you know, Cartoon Network is suffering for it. They, they shut, I want to say shut down. They closed the Cartoon Network Studios at Burbank. And they kind of consolidated. People were telling me, oh, they're not dead. They're dead. If you're consolidating a studio that was Cartoon Network to go under one umbrella which means less content of original, more IP uh, content. That's what they were trying to do. David Zazla saw, okay, no more uh, original content. We got to focus on our IP, which is smart. Why make money on original content when you have IPs that could probably do either about the same amount of money or either the same amount of less money, depending how you look at it. And that's how you're looking at it. Do I think it's a smart idea? No, I think it's a terrible idea. But at the end of the day, this has been written in stone. All the mergers, all the buyouts, all this and that. Him cutting the car cartoon shows, not trying to license some of these shows to other places. Um, so that's what it is. Because um, I grew up with Cartoon Network uh, website um, and the video games or the computer games they had and and uh, the episodes. Like A lot of people say, oh, I watch TV on it. I never did. Especially once they say you had to get your cable provider. I said, fuck that. But they did have a lot of games that I used to play back in the day. Evil Concarnate, Grim Adventures, Billy and Manny, the T-Titans ones. I believe the battle ones. It was kind of cool. Um, Dexter's Laboratory. Um, it's sad. It, it, it's really a sad thing to see how, how it has fallen. And a lot of the classic shows now that were on Boomerang, they're on Me TV and a lot of people said they they just watch me TV for old classic shows and why not? You know, it is what it is. But um as always guys, I could go on and on talking about this, 
But, you know, what do you guys think? How you guys feel about Cartoon Network shutting down? As always, like, subscribe, peace. Have a Johnson day. I'll see you guys in the next video. And comment below, let me know.